All right, so today we're going to uh, talk about recursive notation. So one thing I want to mention is folders. So folders are kind of neat. I can create a, call, a folder, and I'm going to call it recursive notation. All right, and then anything in the folder is part of that. So I'm just going to make up one real quick. I'm going to say f of n, oh, f of n um, is equal to um, f of n minus 1. So we're doing the previous plus uh, um, whatever the common difference is. And so here's an interesting thing. You could do um, uh, you could do like plus this. I'm going to try this and see what this does. If I put plus d um, and I, well, let's just put a number in there for now. Okay. Well, I'm going to change it to three. All right. So we're going to basically what this is saying is whatever my previous number was, I'm going to add three to it to get the next number. Okay. So now that I have that put in, this is my recursive notation. This is my first um, term in the sequence, right? And so we're counting by terms in the sequence. If I click on create a table, it'll create a table for me. Okay. Now, and it'll plot the table. So my first term, the value is 1. Now, if I change this to, say, 5, uh, notice that we're adding 3. And I can count by 2 as well. So if I change this to 2, you know, this is just regular cursive notation and stuff. And then I'd have to plug that in. But um, we run into an issue. There's some extra math we have to do with that. But this is... This is how you put in recursive notation. Now, if you wanted to, um, and I'm not sure if this is the best way, but it's great for the kids to do, um, I can actually do a linear regression on that. Now, if you click on this, it'll say add regression because you have a table. Uh, the problem is it doesn't work out all that great. So what you can actually do is we would copy the table or insert a new table. So if I insert another table, down here and I go one, two, three. This is what I have students do for the funds of it. And then over here, I'm going to just copy and paste these values while well, I'm going to look at them and type them in. 8, um, 11, 14, and then 17. Because this is completely different. In other words, it's not this function. This function is a recursive function. It's not um, a value of x. And so now I could change this to g of x or whatever, but let's just do the linear regression on this. And then it will actually spit out this equation. Now, if I export this snapshot, it puts my equation down here. Now, the beauty of creating the folder is if I do this, I can, I can move stuff to the folder. So this could go into the folder and whatnot. And that's basically it. Here. What you got to do to move stuff into the folders, see that little tiny line? I forgot to move it into the folder. So if I move all this stuff into the folder, and it just makes a slight indent, now when I close the folder, boop, just hides everything in the folder. So that's kind of neat, but the recursive notation was the main thing that I wanted to show you guys.